open the year. The Jayhawks 4-0 here in Allen Fieldhouse. We're ready to go tonight. Great to have you along. Let's have some fun as the tap is won by the Ruse from about 40 miles to the east out of Kansas City, Missouri. School, it's the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Athletic programs go by Kansas City now instead of UMKC. Ninth all-time meeting between these schools of men's basketball. Jayhawks have won the first eight. Anderson Kopp gets a free look and knocks it down, averaging over 12 a game. Top returning player for the Ruse as we get a quick whistle. And down on the floor is Kopp. And he's not to his feet. Well, Cobb, you, you watch Phil and him. He loves this shot fake. It's kind of a non traditional shot fake. It's like he really puts the ball out and up. When that ball gets above your eyes, typically people like to bite on it, and Cobb's able to get one to go down. But then well, Marco Jackson and Cobb really ran into each other. An errant outlet pass from Hunter Dickinson. But there's going to be a lot of screening actions away from the ball. Going to have to have good communication and attention to detail if you're KU. Jayhawks trying to establish Dickinson early. Knocked away. This Kansas City team does have some size and some strength inside. Alan Mokeba, their starting post, only six foot seven, but he's got some muscles. Yeah, no doubt. There's don't have a ton of height, but like you said, there's some guys that are well built. McCuller now in the post through two ruse banks at home. Amazing how much more comfortable he's gotten in the post to the point where Bill Self was willing to run some high-low actions to post up Kevin McCullough. But we saw that with Ochai Abaji, Jalen Wilson, as they progressed as wings, they started to post up. Top picked up by Adams this time. This is Mukeba. Nothing there against Dickinson. Knocked away by a Jayhawk. Job by Hunter Dickinson moving his feet, not biting on a shot fake. 10 seconds on the clock now, Steven. Bruce want to operate quickly. Top to Cameron Foss, great shooter. Left side, Jamar Brown, two seconds. They don't realize it. Shot clock violation. I think that's the Allen Fieldhouse crowd sometimes messes with you a little bit where you start thinking about the wrong thing. The, First thing that typically goes when dealing with the crowd is decision making. Hard to hear your coach at the other end of the yeah. floor, too. Or each other saying, hey, talk, communicating there's 10 on the clock, but you got to have awareness on that. They have played at Baylor and Colorado State already this year. It's not Allen Fieldhouse, oh, though, not. Marvin Menzies told me today. Dickinson one on one. Faces up. It's not really his game. You can face up and shoot, but that was kind of a face up fadeaway. And you see if a double team's going to come or if they're just going to kind of jump in and out with digging on the post. The table will go to work. Tries to slip under Dickinson. Pivot foot slid. It That's a couple of good sequences one on one defense from Hunter Dickinson. One fighting the dribble here, fighting the post, standing his ground. But you can see, I, I saw Bill Self give Hunter Dickinson that look like, what are you shooting the fadeaway for? You get a post up, one on one, go to work. Seven inches taller than the guy guarding him. Come on. Harris gets an angle. Baseline, McCuller, open three. Bang! First five of the Jayhawk night belong to Kevin McCuller. He's going to keep on saying it's just remarkable how much better Kevin McCuller has gotten as a scorer. Two huge threes played in the win over Connecticut. And another 20-point effort is fourth of the season. Kaba again. Jump hook. Not there. Pretty good pressure defense on the perimeter from KU. Jackson on the sideline. And that was something I was going to be interested to see on the defensive end. Kansas had their best 40 minutes of pressure defense against UConn. They were pretty juiced up, switching screens, pressing out. Didn't necessarily reveal itself in a lot of turnovers, but that pressure defense was really good. And so let's see if Kansas can kind of build on that and start stacking games with this pressure defense switching. Harris has switched about three, four times here. Okay, but the only guy who can find any space off target from 19. And that switching just blew up that whole possession. 
Dickinson. The long left arm of Hunter Dickinson. That's more like it. That's his game. If they're not going to come with a double team. Hunter Dickinson needs to go to work. Kansas City scored their first possession. They've gone more than three minutes without points since. Okay, but launching a three. Probably not the shot they want consistently. He's taking a lot of their shots because they're denied everywhere else. Poor Salt, the point guard, trying to push it the other way. Boss finding no space against Adams. Poor Salt attacks, scoops it home. A rare straight line drive against Kevin McCuller, given up for a layup. Pretty good drive from Court Salt. Dickinson straight on three. Rare miss from downtown for Hunter. Only the seventh misfire in 18 tries beyond the arc. His offensive numbers are absolutely incredible from an efficiency standpoint. Jackson getting on the floor. Jayhawks run three on one. McCuller, easy finish. Heck of a play from El Marco Jackson, though. First to the floor, gets it, creates a run out. Good play from the freshman. Adams with the delivery to McCuller. Brown from way downtown. Kansas City offense not getting the looks they would like in these opening five minutes. Color gets a free angle and buries a triple. He has 10 already. Well, Kevin McCullough, the scouting report maybe a couple of years ago said, yeah, you can maybe go under a handoff on him. Not anymore. You go under anything on Kevin McCullough, he is going to stop and fire. Open corner look, Brown, too strong. McCullough tapped the rebound, went up and got it. Got numbers. Running again, the Jayhawks. Dickinson finishing the alley-oop. And give credit to Kevin McCuller. Tapping that rebound on the weak side that created the opportunity for the transition runout. Two transition baskets for Kansas, and Dewan Harris hasn't been involved in either of them. That's Brown on the back door. And that's what Kansas City's going to have to do with Kansas is going to press out and switch and deny. You got to go back door and see if you can find him. Speaking of back door, McCuller fouled. Two free throws coming. When we come back, Jayhawk defense creating some offense. Freshman to the floor. And his offensive game has been remarkable to see. Much more aggressive. Five of the nine Jayhawk shots belonging to McCuller tonight. The other four for Dickinson and. Guess who's at the line? Kevin McCullough. Already like what I've seen from Kansas defensively as well. He's done a good job switching, denying, pressuring. See if they can keep it up. Both free throws down. A dozen in the bank already for McCullough. He's doubling the ruse by himself. Changes in that Jayhawk lineup yet. So sticking with the starting five. Cameron Foss off on a long two. Long outlet to Harris. No numbers. Dickinson's good at that, isn't he? Those long outlet passes that really just springboard the break. His outstanding passing is not limited to the half court. Harris splits two, finds Jackson. Running the floor for an easy finish, Jeff Nagandu, six foot nine inch sophomore from the Democratic Republic of Congo. And he can run. Maybe big, but he was moving there rim to rim. He will throw some bodies at Hunter Dickinson today. Jackson open again, turns down the three this time. Set up Dickinson for a five footer. Jackson gets the rebound. Dickinson cleans it up. I'd like to see how Marco Jackson just take that first three. If there's a rhythm kick out three, step into that thing with confidence. You and I come to shoot arounds, and almost every time a Marco Jackson's the first guy out there shooting. 
Adams way up for the rebound. Three on one. Up top, McCullough with the flush. Again, the Jayhawks run the break, and again, it's Jackson with the delivery. I don't know what Kansas City is doing right now in their transition defense. There's got to be more urgency to sprint back. Numbers again for the Jayhawks. Harris has it taken away. A little too crowded under the hoop. A little too fancy, too. Just keep it simple in those three-on-one, two-on-one breaks. Jamar Brown short on a three-point try. Three Jayhawks set to check in. The next dead ball They've had hardly any stoppage on these first eight plus minutes. Dickinson goes to work. Dickinson's eyes should be lighting up right now that he is not going to get double teamed in this game. The headband around the world. Dickinson clears. The color pushing. Find Harris. Jayhawks out and running again. The color to Harris. Timeout. Kansas City. Marvin Menzies wants to visit about transition defense. Themselves on the back. He says they really haven't done anything so far. The key for this next stretch is to guard their man and to defend him before he catches the ball, guys. Thanks, KP. Nothing but one and out for the Ruse so far. Nick, they do out-rebound their opponents by six a game, despite being a, a sub-500 team record-wise, and that was a big emphasis today for the Jayhawks. And you can see with the way the bodies are for Kansas City, they're going to try to really crash the offensive glass, but Kansas' ability to rebound has led to a lot of these runouts. We've talked about all these fast-break opportunities because Kansas has cleaned up the defensive glass and gotten out and ran. Jayhawks on a 6-0 run. Nick Timberlake looks to add to it and does. Corner three, Nicholas Timberlake on his first touch of the game. Kansas City answers, though. Triple from Cameron Foss, who can light it up at yes, a moment's notice. Can. You gotta have good urgency locating him at all times. Adams going down low. Parker Brown is in there in place of Dickinson. Tough finish on the reverse for Brown. And what a great pass from KJ Adams. Just flashing in the middle of that zone. Perfect look on the dump down to Parker Brown. Johnny Furphy also in for the first time as well for the Jayhawks. Ten in, I guess we we'll call these silver uniforms for KU tonight. I kind of like them. Very good look. Again. One and out for the Ruse. Timberlake the rebound. Color isolated left side. Great individual offense from Kevin McCuller. Well, he is on some kind of tear right now. 14 points in just over 10 minutes. You could just see he is drenched in confidence right now. I beg your pardon, 16 points for McCuller. Kansas forcing Kansas City to run their offense way beyond the three-pointer. That pressure defense has Kansas City all out of shorts. You said it pressed out, sped up, off schedule. McCuller throws it away. Mar Brown pushing the other direction. Tough finish against Adams. And a foul on the Jayhawks. This Jayhawk offense, it's about ball movement. They are great passers. Well, look at this flash in this 2-3 zone. You're going to see KJ Adams come in. Coach up always talks about when you get in the middle of the zone, you think shot, dump, dump down, or reverse. That was a perfect sequence of that. And then Kevin McCuller, I mean, that's just a dude getting busy. Good offense. Beats good defense every day of the week. And Kevin McCullers' offensive game is really good right now. Kansas, nine assists on 12 baskets. Nick, they lead the country nearly 23 assists per game. They're going to get to 20 tonight again, it looks like. No doubt. 20 or more assists, five of the first eight games this season. 
in the post with a strong move. Melvin Bonkley working against Jamari McDowell, but doesn't finish. Now Harris, a little hesitation, throws it away. Not sure what happened there. And Kansas City returns the favor. Timberlake, no hesitation. Babacar Diallo grabs it and goes. Line cut off. Gets it back. Open look. Short. Timberlake, a rebound in a crowd. Harris open for a moment. Self yelling for his team to move. Yeah. Brown in the post. Jump hook. Gets the roll. Parker Brown. Soft touch. And Bill Self has really raved about Parker Brown's consistency in practice. He's just got an All-American Player of the Year candidate in front of him in Hunter Dickinson. Not much drop-off, at least in terms of energy when the Jayhawks go to the bench. Up 20 first half. That should be a really fun game, especially with the way Missouri plays. They kind of want to pressure, they want to play fast. Certainly Kansas is more than willing to accommodate that. Anytime Kansas was already hooking up, man, look out. Foss gets a look on the inbounds and buries it. Cameron Foss, he's a six foot six inch junior from Scottsdale, Arizona, transferred from Scottsdale Community College. Maybe as good a shooter as you're going to find at the mid major level. Yeah, he shot at 47% a year ago. That's what he does. He's got good size, too. McDowell open. Johnny Furphy's got to do a better job staying attached to Foss on the handoffs. I got switched off onto him. So McDowell and now Harris gets him. You got to know who you're guarding in personnel when you're switching a lot. You got to know lots of guys when you're switching. You got to know all of them, you know. And at shoot around, they were going through personnel and quizzing everybody. Shot clock at three. Brewers need to get something on the rim. They do from R.T. Stapleton, cleaned up by Melvin Abonkali. Tough one to rebound, just barely grazed the rim straight down. That's kind of the story against UConn. Great defense all the way to the very end of the shot clock. And then Tristan Newton threw in a bunch of tough ones. Five straight for Kansas City. McDowell somehow had it bounce back to him. Harris open. Cashes the three. Dewan Harris has not taken many shots this year, especially beyond the arc. But when he does, pretty good. He's he 8 out of 17. Yeah. It's just not in his nature to want to let it fly. But to put it in perspective, Hunter Dickinson has attempted more three pointers than Dewan Harris. Yes. Stapleton hits from the elbow. Kansas City finding a little rhythm offensively now. Harris open again, turns it down, drives it, sets up Furphy. Brown on the glass, gets hammered. Parker Brown gets after it in there. Experienced, older. Been through it. Also battles Hunter Dickinson every single day. And that guy is ready to go. And again, Bill Self went out of his way in his press conference a few days ago to point out that Parker Brown's been really, really consistent in practice, and he's been pleased with him. He just hasn't been able to get him on the floor a ton because you got Dickinson in front of him. And, and you and I were talking this afternoon. There were some thoughts. Okay, can you maybe play Parker Brown up four a little bit with Dickinson or do some different lineups to get him on the floor? And it's just proven to be more challenging than you think. And you have to change how you play defensively, yes. maybe. Yep. Harder to switch everywhere. It's just a tough situation when you got a pretty good player that you're really pleased with that it's just hard to find minutes for. Good problem to have. Yes. He stays in the game. Dickinson's at the table waiting to check in. For Salt. Shoulder pass. McDowell. Brown gets the finish. Jamar Brown, four points. He's coming off a 19-point outing in their 30-point victory over Southeast Missouri.
I think Brown is an excellent cutter off the ball. You have to stay attached and be aware when you're guarding. Speaking of excellent cuts, Brown with a good one. Missed the left-handed lay-in. That's a tough finish for a 6'9 guy. You know, it's been impressive that Kansas has been able to be this, this aggressive and switch and play defense without fouling in this half. Exactly one foul against the Jayhawks so far. Foss knocks in another one. This is a two, and Bill Self will take a timeout. We will as well. 13 point margin. Four minutes, 17 seconds out of the NCAA tournament. They'll be back for more next year. Jayhawk ball out of the timeout. KU lead down to 13. Jayhawks back to their starting five and trying to go into Dickinson. KU has led by as many as 20 in this first half. Let's see if the starters who really got off to a roaring start, but then Kansas kind of went to the bench and Kansas City settled in. See if these guys can now reestablish themselves here in the final four minutes to push this lead back out. Great. Pick and roll to Dickinson there. Eight points for Dickinson. Jayhawk score on the baseline out of bounds. Of course, Salt crossing over on Harris. So that top shot fake gets everybody to does. Three won't fall though. Dickinson the kick out this time. Jackson draws a whistle. It's only the fourth foul against Kansas City. We've had only five fouls in this entire first half between the two teams. And it's not like the teams haven't been aggressive and physical. No, it's just been it's been clean in the foul department. All away from the ball. Hey, two whistles on one possession. What's going on? Jinxed it. It's got to be nice for both coaches, though, to have a game where you don't have to worry about foul trouble. You can choose who plays and when. That one goes against McCaba. Heller, a little too hot to handle, going to Adams. It's a tough pass. A lot of hands in there on that little flex cut to KJ Adams and a couple of just lazy turnovers from Kansas in this first half cop three ball got it Anderson cop just a 28 percent shooter from downtown but that's a good looking stroke it is and Kansas City screening their own guys instead of screening each other for the switches that makes the switching tough Jackson open. That's against Dickinson. Will push in the back. Hunter not a fan of the call. Been a couple of good clean looks from El Marco Jackson. 0 for 3 from the floor. 0 for 2 from 3. Just gotta let that thing fly with confidence. You were looking at the stats pregame. His shots per minute are very very low. It is. He's played. 70 more minutes than Furphy, but Furphy's only taken two fewer shots to kind of put into perspective of just how much more aggressive Furphy. Harris way up for an interception. It's the open look and buries it. Dewan Harris at both ends. Nine of 18 now. Is that what it is from three for Harris on the season? Yes, sir. Good pass from McCuller as well. He could have forced up a shot because he's hot, but he didn't. Of course, Salt answers with a three. Well, the one thing you can say about the Dewan Harris and Hunter Dickinson shot selection from three, you really only take them when they're wide open, which is smart. McCuller strong down the baseline. It starts with the defense, though, for Dewan Harris. Look at this vertical. Pretty impressive. Got up quickly. And then pretty good two-man game here. McCuller knew exactly where he wanted to get the ball to. Set his feet, pivots, finds Dewan Harris, who 
Did you like that he didn't hesitate at all to catch and shoot even early in transition to let it fly from three? Well, Color has not scored in several minutes. Now 17 points. He got off to a really, really good start. At 10 in the first five. Pretty good night. We're not even to halftime yet. Yeah. Whatever Kansas is doing in their player development department, it's pretty good. <laughs> That's one of the most underrated things about this program. There's just not, oh, they get all the, the five-star, top ten, one-and-done guys. Ah, they've been pretty good at finding guys and developing them over the course of two, three, four years here at Kansas. They're on Adams. Some of it is physical. Yes. Some of it's also psychological. Yeah, you got to. Breathe confidence into the guys, and, and also some of it is a little bit about opportunity as well. Kevin McCullough has always played with guys that have been a little bit better than him. He's never been really the number one option in college. Now he is, and he's flexing his muscles pretty good. Good job, K.J. Adams just denying, making life tough, and again, doing it without fouling. You've talked a lot about how KU will switch a lot defensively. That's a big reason why you've got a guy like KJ Adams who can guard literally anyone on the floor. Yeah, and the ability to switch usually hinges on your four man. If your four man is a versatile defender, then you're in business in terms of being able to switch every almost everything on the floor. And KJ Adams is that, as is Kevin McCullough. First point of the night for Adams. Second shot, perfect as well. He has four assists. We hear the term positionless basketball, especially if you watch the NBA game. We think of it offensively, but how much of that is defense? A ton. Yeah, I mean, honestly, versatility anymore is usually an offensive term, but sometimes I think of it more on defense and just being able to guard in multiple positions. Size, quickness, you name it. Tie up. Color getting the hands in forces a turnover. Good activity. Again, doing such a good job of just making life tough, being active, but doing it without fouling. Timberlake with the initial reach in to force the jump ball. Adams spun into two defenders. Timberlake was open. Salt, fearless, and one. Christian Corsalt. Nice take by the 6'2 grad student from Los Angeles. A lot of traffic. Harris, KJ Adams in front of him, and he still gets it to go down. Didn't fade away from the contact. That gets him at the free throw line. Seven points for Corsalt, who's at his fifth college. Fourth Division One. Well traveled. If Dickinson can get a touch here. They're gonna play one-on-one -on -one in the post, no double teams. You'd love to feed the big man. They do. Double team kicks it out. Timberlake left it short. That's a foul all day long. Hunter Dickinson. A little bit perturbed, to say the least. Yeah, Dickinson is not happy. He, he back into the ball game. And... He'll shoot two. Enough shooting a free throw with nobody on the lane, and you've got Kansas student section right behind the hoop. Brisbane ball. So Kansas is going to get another look at it, given the shot clock, game clock situation here. Assuming they can corral a rebound. Kansas is going to come with some full court pressure. You have one foul to give if you kind of want to get aggressive with your KU here. Before you're in that.
that bonus. The color on for Salt, who nearly went into the backboard. Thing. Kaba working against Brown, and but the Brown draws the foul. Well, the first 15 minutes were very whistle-free. They were. We jinxed it. You knew it was coming at some. Point. At some point, you figured it was. It's basketball. Well, there's the foul to give. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say foul number six, but shot clock off now, and Kansas won't get another look at it. Where you really have to finish this possession with a defensive block out because Kansas City is going to send everybody. They will let the clock roll for a bit. For assault, stops and pops. Really hit iron. McDowell going to get it up. We're at halftime. Kansas led by as many as 20 in the first half. Take a 14 point lead to the locker room, led by. Same for Kansas City as well. Students ready to go. Brew ball to begin half number two. They should be feeling a little more confident offensively the way the last ten minutes of that first half went. Or Salt drops it off. Mukeba. Oh, he had Foss open for a moment. Brown just can't find the stroke from distance. He's 0 5 beyond the arc. You said it. Foss was open. I'm not sure how that ball didn't get right out to him. Trying to a little misdirection to throw it into Dickinson. And a foul. Trying to wrestle in the post. It's Mukeba. It was Gondu that had Dickinson riled up late in the first. Harris slips into the lane. McCuller couldn't quite finish. Foss way out. Right into Dickinson's lap on the rebound. Adams, four assists already. Good ball movement. Dickinson in and out. Great challenge on the jump hook. But Kansas needs to push it. Had success. Run it. Knocked away. A couple of good looks early, though. You got a back cut to McCuller. Missed it. Got a wide open three for Dickinson. Dickinson having a conversation with the officials, and Nagandu is in now to guard Dickinson. Top for Adams. Bucket and one. Uh, Bill Self just loves lobs and basing out of bounds. Just a little back pick from Kevin McCuller. You want to stay attached to his body so you don't want to switch and go under it. See how Foss goes under that screen. That's too much space for a big time vertical athlete that can get to the apex of his jump in a hurry in KJ Adams. Third foul on Foss as well. He grabs the rebound. Seahawks pressuring on the perimeter. Cop just inside the arc. Dickinson didn't squeeze the rebound, went right through his hands. Cop from the wing. Rue is really struggling beyond the arc. Four of 17. I thought Kevin McCuller could have grabbed that rebound. It looked like McCuller was wanting to leak out to maybe try and get the transition run out. I thought Harris even looked like he tried to poke it to him. 
third chance for Kansas City this possession. Cop going to work on the freshman Jackson. Great patience from the fifth year senior Anderson Cop working on a rookie. His shot fakes. He's had about eight or nine different people bite on it. And this was multiple shot fakes. One, two, three. Gets Jackson a little off balance, draws the foul. Just goes to show you in the post, you don't necessarily got to be the highest jumper, but if you're strong and can get the defense to leap their feet, good things can happen. It's a shot fake of the guy in the rec center that nobody can guard, and they wonder why. Cop's got a little athleticism to go with it, though. Knocks in the free throw, eight points. Just a, it was one of the first things that jumped out at me with film was just Cop gets multiple guys every game to bite on that shot fake. A little zone from Kansas City. A little two three. Oh, swing it quickly. Jackson in the corner. Knocks home the triple. First points of the night for El Marco Jackson. Welcome sight to see from El Marco Jackson. Knock down a triple. Get into a rhythm and a flow. That's good ball movement against that two three zone. Sets up a corner three for Jason Petty, who's just in. Petty thought about another one. Brown tries. Still can't buy one out there. Dickinson running the floor, lays it in. Great pass from K.J. Adams. Five assists, K.J. Adams tying his career high. Did a good job waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and then delivered the pass to Dickinson right when he could pop open and throw it over the defense. Just great timing on the pass from K.J. Adams. Like a quarterback. That's it. Sometimes great passing, especially in transition, is largely about timing. For Salt with the bucket for Kansas City. He has nine. Big screen from Dickinson. Jackson knocks it down. If a guy's going to go under a ball screen or Velcro a ball screen and you're open, well, Marco Jackson's got to have the confidence to just rise up and shoot that thing. Velcro a ball screen meaning stick to it. Run into it and, and stick. And Gondu fouled by Dickinson. Kansas getting out and running a little bit. Early second half. K.J. Adams has been the point man on the break. Tonight. Under a ball screen set by Hunter Dickinson, well, then Dickinson can't gain the advantage. He can't roll and get open or roll and get an advantage doing his work early for a post position. So there's, there's a domino effect to the aggression from El Marco Jackson, and it can eventually trickle down to guys like Kevin McCullough and Hunter Dickinson. Couple free throws out of the timeout for Gondu of Kansas City. Three points tonight, make it four for their sophomore post player. Some more two three zone. I've run a trap, and that's something they try to do. Ron Harris ready for it. Brown is in the game for Dickinson. Dickinson picked up his third foul before the timeout. Good. There's finding Adams. Look at the elevation. AJ Adams been making that shot with regularity. Shoots over 70% from the floor. Fifth best, best nationally. We miss a lot of those this year. Top guarded by Adams. Shot by Parker Brown. Hedged that ball screen. Recovered back to the post. Good job. Petty, tough shot. Buries it. Jason Petty rising and firing. Back to a 14-point game. Shot fake. Tend to shoot. Color sees it. Fires and hits.
20.9. Kevin McCullough is 20 point game of the year. For Salt attacking. Caught Harris leaning just a bit. Kansas City all of a sudden now trying to do some different things defensively, mixing things up as you take a look at Kevin McCullough. Not every team has a guy that can just go do that. You know, nothing doing, just go take a couple dribbles, rise up, knock it down. I played with a guy here, Keith Langford. And the possession was in trouble. Just get it to Keith, get out of the way. Yep. He could go make something happen. There's been countless guys, countless guys like that over the last 20, 30, 40 years at Kansas. And you, you need him. Kevin McCullers, that guy for KU. It's one thing to be able to do it out of a set to get that guy a look or a spot where he can be successful. I've seen him multiple times tonight. McCullough can just take it and go get a shot. He's so right. Are you a, the kind of offensive player that you need the sets to manufacture points or can you do it yourself? Floater. He struggled with that this year. You think in recent memory, the, the best guys at that that Bill Self has had were Frank Masons and yeah. Monte Graham. I was just going to say, it's been those little ball handling guards. Offensive board, Mukeba, a nice patience for his first points. Kansas City just hanging yeah. around. Took the words out of my mouth. Just hanging around within striking distance. McCuller again. Brown, tip out. Or salt just grazed it. And Kansas City, they started sprinkling a little bit more zone, switching some things up, keeping Kansas off balance. And look at this move by Bill Self. Furphy in, Brown out. No Dickinson, no Brown for the Jayhawks. And really small. Can really stretch Kansas City out. Remember, K.J. Adams did play 30-plus minutes a game as the five last year. True. Easy call against Petty, bodying up the color. This will be a lineup to keep an eye on here for however long it is on the floor. Bill Self doesn't do things by accident. No. Harris, tough reverse. For Salt, nice job with the defender on his back. Three missing, foul against Kansas City in the rebound battle. And they get Mokeba. And Mokeba, a little apology to Kevin McCuller, kind of popped him in the grill. McCuller's battled through some bumps and bruises here in the early season. And, and that's the thing. Harris, McCullough, those guys, they're logging heavy minutes right now. Take another look at upper left. Got a little tangled up. A little chicken wing to the grill. Sounds pretty good right it now. It does, doesn't it? Put a little sauce on it. A little BBQ sauce on it. Adams, great drive. That's not falling. No. Bayhawks. Where Salt tried to force it in. Where Kansas got to find something in transition. Burphy spot up in the corner. Babacar Diallo, the rebound. Kansas hasn't gotten in transition as much. Foss, have mercy. Cameron Foss from halfway back to downtown Kansas City. Timeout. Bill Self, his Jayhawks lead. Remedy these offensive woes. It's Hunter Dickinson, and then it's transition. Get some stops. Let your defense create some offense. Dickinson has Boss guarding him here. Papers over on Adams. Now they switch. No, they switch back. Three bodies around Dickinson. They can't throw it in there. Kind of playing way off KJ Adams to let him play center field. Dickinson hook pass Adams with an acrobatic finish. But it starts with throwing it into Hunter Dickinson. That attracts a double team. So when I say establish Hunter Dickinson, I'm not necessarily saying for him to score, but for him to playmake. For Salt, working on Timberlake. Can't get it to drop. Up ahead, Furphy attacking. Off balance. 
tough shot. Didn't have numbers. Driving one on three. Maybe it's time to pump the brakes. Cabo faces up. Dickinson lassos the rebound. Dickinson open from 15. An assist followed by a basket. Yeah, that's, your your All-American candidate's got to be just that right now. Team's on the ropes a little bit. Play through him. Top on the handoff. Easing into the lane. Drew some contact. No whistle. Kansas takes it. Good hands from Furphy. Furphy open look. Yes, sir, Johnny Furphy. That's all Furphy. He just stood his ground. He got the deflection that got the run out. Seven straight for the Jayhawks. For Salt ends that with a rainbow. Timeout. Kansas City will take it to Johnny Furphy. Knocking in the three ball, the freshman. At halftime, about what to do about Kevin McCullough, who had 18 points. He says his team needs to do a better job communicating and denying Kevin McCullough the ball. You might want to keep an eye on McCullough, who's not in the game right now. He's been flexing his right hand, specifically his pinky, that's giving him some trouble. Um, he only has two points here so far in the second half. Guys. Thanks, KP. McCullough's still on the bench. We'll see if and when he returns. Harris back into the ball game for Kansas. So is El Marco Jackson. This is Hunter Dickinson. Unable to score over two Ruse. And then three Ruse cannot squeeze a rebound. And there you see, so look, Kansas City's doing, they're putting Nagandu the on KJ Adams, and they're basically just planting him in the lane. And it's kind of making things crowded for Hunter Dickinson when he goes to work in the paint. There they get the switch with Voss on him. Easy finish, K.J. Adams. It makes it look easy because he can jump out of the building. That's four points on that exact base and out-of-bounds play in the second half. It looks really fun to be able to jump like that. Wouldn't it be? Foul against Kansas. And they get Adams for the third time. But it's important to be able to get points in that those special situations. You're basing out of bounds. That's where Bill Self's typically pretty good, drawing up different things. Might be the understatement of the season yeah. for you. If you're an opposing coach, you spend a lot of time. You've a scouting report going over the baseline out of bounds, and you're probably you still going to give up six or eight points. Yep. Wrinkles coming all the time. Stapleton, nice drive, tough finish. Ortiz Stapleton, really tough finish. <laughs> Harris finds Adams cutting, takes the contact, he'll shoot two. AJ Adams doing a good job in that what they call dunker spot. So he's in that short corner, ready to catch or cut. So he's able to cut. Go right into the body of the defense and get to the free throw line. He's just its a high IQ player. Understands where to move and cut and space out off of penetration. To free himself up. A heck of a collision there. I'm doing Adams. Two guys that know where the weight room's at. Big second half for K.J. Adams. Seven points, nine for the game. Making his free throws too. See a career high five assists. Done that once previously. <laughs> Tapped around and secured by Brown. This Kansas City team fighting. Marvin Menzies trying to build his program up. Brews in the Summit League. They were picked eight three season. Never won their league championship. Never been. To the NCAA tournament, haven't even played in their conference tournament championship game in school history. Evan Menzies trying to take them to uncharted territory. 
He's pretty excited about the recruiting class he has coming in for next year. Thinks this group this year could still make some noise as Adams will head right back to the line. Again, Kansas City, a, a year ago, three starters went down with injuries. And it's hard to overcome that degree of injuries to important players this year. Like you said, done a good job going finding some newcomers. A really experienced guy on their bench as well. That was what he's doing. Had to address three-point shooting a year ago. They were the second worst three-point shooting team in the country. And now he tried to find and identify some shooters. Shoot around today, Marvin Menzies leaned over to me and goes, we've got some shooters. They hit about seven in a row at one point. Basketball's really hard when you can't make threes. And it just puts so much pressure on everything else in your game. For any team at really any level now. Yes. Three-point shot is just so prominent. Adams one for two. Ah. Timberlake going after the rebound. He's the last to touch it. Adams takes a seat. Kopp gets it on a handoff. Discipline not biting on that shot fake. Harris in a battle of headbands. Dickinson muscling the rebound. Hawks run, the color, the finish, the foul. El Marco Jackson running the break. Great transition game for Kansas. Dickens City start. Josh Klingler, Nikki Wellner have to call for that one. Tayana Jackson and the Jayhawks look to rack up a win. Color 23 points tonight. One shy of his career high. There was a moment you thought he was maybe going to go for 40. I suppose there's still time. Really rolling early in the game. Here's a chance for that career high. Got it. New career high, Kevin McCuller. 25 points, besting his 24 against Marquette. Something tells me he's going to break that career high again at some point this year. Might be a 30 in the offering down the line. Dickinson just picked up his fourth. Talk about Kevin McCuller scoring, being more aggressive. Fifth 20-point game of the season. He'd had only three previously in his career. And this one's just opportunistic. Lazy pass. Could have been a three-point play. But there's a little contact on that layup. Cowbell Marco Jackson defensively making things tough. I got to stay disciplined on the shot fake. There's one. And then Cop goes into him and draws a foul. You mentioned good job defensively. He made Cop catch it in a spot he didn't want to. Yeah. And, and then Cop, pretty good back down game. He just got his, his hand was down on the spin. Got to have your arm straight up. Good job not biting on that shot fake, but his hand placement wasn't right on the spin. Anderson Kopp is going to be a big-time matchup problem in the Summit League. Six-foot, six-inch wing. He can post. He can shoot threes. Long. Plays at, at his speed. So hard to speed him up. Ten points tonight. Excuse me, handles the backcourt pressure. There's some zone. Jackson goes to work. Good play. Timberlake, quick fire. Pop up to get the rebound. It's a good job, though, from Jackson. That's good penetration. Making a shot, creating one for Timberlake. Timberlake's got knocked down. Up against McCuller. Shovels it to Foss. Open look. Yeah, he's going to hit those.
Cameron Foss four threes tonight. You give him a little space, he can elevate and get a clean look. And when you're switching, got a state, the Summit League favorites this year with a Lawrence native, Zeke Mayo is yeah. the top player in the preseason Summit League player of the year. Give a shout out to the Lawrence High Chesty Lions. Oh, got it in. Lincoln Southeast on the broadcast. Okay. True, we're even. Little zone look again. Yes. Thought we'd see more of this from Kansas City. That almost looks like they go man to man towards the end of the possession. Dickinson wants it. Muller may have to fire. He does. Good defensive possession by the visitors. Yeah, really good. Switch things up, got Kansas in his own set. He got matched up man to man. Foss thought about shooting that. Another back down here. Top with the spin, gets fouled. Boy, kisses at home. I just go right back to that time and time again right now. Cop having his way. Not playing overly fast, being physical, getting to his spots, playing through contact, drawing fouls. Pretty good. Foul on Timberlake, who checks out. It's eight straight for the Kansas City Roos. Back within 14 again. Self back to his starting five with just over five minutes remaining. Over the top, Adams flying through the air. Wow. How hard that is. That wasn't a set play. That's just two guys with chemistry making something happen. It's just eyes up, little zip on that lob, and helps when you can put your chin on the rim, too. Who has the easier job on a play like that, the passer or the finisher? I think it's got to be the passer. There's a lot of guys that can maybe throw that pass. There aren't very many guys that can rise up that quick, get that high, catch it, and hammer it. Fifth assist of the night for Dewan Harris. Good hand. Vincent knocks it away. Over the top for Adams. Way up to catch it. There's leaping ability, and then there's K.J. Adams, who can do it both on the run, as we just saw on the lob, and then here, basically going straight up and down to catch this ball. You watch him in person, and it is striking how fast he can jump. It's like he's on a trampoline and everybody else isn't. One foot, two foot. Yes. Sideways, vertically. Huge second half for Adams as well. He's having a great season. You, you could see it early. You knew the, the, the heart, the effort, the toughness. All those ingredients were there. But what I didn't see was the, the feel and the IQ that's allowed him to be a little undersized, but make an impact as a forward and even as a small ball center. Oh. Late on the arrival, Foss with a chance for four. Just as I brag on the IQ, a mental mistake. Regarding a great shooter on just a little high ball screen. One man rolls, Foss pops. He's lived up to the hype tonight, Cameron Foss, with that shooting ability. He's got a quick trigger, and again, he's got good size. He's all of 6'6". Favorite karaoke song for Cameron Foss? Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Okay. Not a bad selection. Really? Uh, well, one in which the entire... Oh. A mistake. Yeah. By Kansas. And they give it back. Adams was trying to tap it to El Marco Jackson to throw it in, and he stepped out and threw it to... K.J. Adams was trying to get it to him. I think Amoko Jackson was supposed to throw the ball in. The problem was K.J. Adams was already in that spot. 
And Kansas City gets a look off the baseline. Started by Adams again. Hop and Foss doing the damage. For Salt, ooh, bucket and one. Going right at El Marco Jackson. The left-handed player who loves to get to that left hand on drives. Good job getting into the body of El Marco Jackson at the end of the drive. Jackson out. Furphy in. Christian Corsalt. Career goal. I love it. He wants to be a retired billionaire. Great goal. Absolutely. How you, the, how you get there? Whatever. Figure it out. The path from point A to point yeah. B is going to be the interesting part. It's down to an 11 point game. Yeah. Color with a career high 25 tonight. Into Adams. Extra pass. Harris. Typing through. Dickinson didn't squeeze it. Boy. Should have been a dunk for Dickinson. Just, just a few careless things down the stretch here have gotten Kansas City just hanging around. A nice pass from Harris, and Dickinson can't corral it. Second half of this game. Somewhat similar to last Tuesday against uh -oh. Eastern Illinois. For Salt with a three. Bill Self taking his final timeout. We'll take it. Not retreating as for Salt knocks down a three. They've got in this high pick roll replace action that's given Kansas some issues. And 10 0 run in less yeah. than a minute of game time. McCuller turns down an open three. Surprising. He's got a 25 point night, a career high. Foul away from the ball to Kinson and Nagandu. That's on Nagandu. His, his third. Dickinson tried to you know, set a screen for Adams and then trying to go down to the post and Nagandu just not letting Dickinson move. That was even in the original rules of basketball. <laughs> yeah, right. First free throw attempt of the night for Hunter Dickinson. And an interesting night for him. Just had a hard time getting the touches, getting into a groove. Still one rebound shy of a double double. Yep. Now 14 points. They got ready to defend this ball screen action with Foss. Corsalt and Foss, 18 points. Cop has 13. This is Corsalt. On to Mukeba. Brown against Furphy. Didn't draw iron. Harris, crossover. Adams post. Using the strength and the quick jumping ability. How on earth did he put that back in? Well, first of all, how about the power to displace Cop on the jump hook? And then to get back up, beat everybody to the ball. Quick jumper, high jumper. Big time player with a big time play, KJ Adams. The list of things you can't coach. Yeah. Strength, jumping ability. Under three to play. Defensive intensity up a notch for the Jayhawks, it appears. For Salt splitting two, gives it up. Brown's been very quiet tonight. He's their leading scorer for the year coming in. Furphy knocks it free. Harris and Furphy run. Furphy the finish. Six foot nine, long arms. Johnny Furphy, his length defensively has really helped him in this game. Adams with a deflection. Another transition opportunity. Furphy again. The Australian causing problems for the Ruse. 
Wait, did KU take it up a notch or what? The decibel level up a few notches as well. Ooh, KJ Adams could have had that one. Boss trying to create. Tough shot. Wow. I mean, Stephen Davis. In the last three possessions here. Engagement level high. High. Makes you kind of go, well, where was this <laughs> for the past 16 or so minutes? The switch got flipped upwards. It really did. Adams, reverse. Oh, KJ Adams doing it all. Stud. Been the best player on the floor in the second half. He has put this game on ice for the Jayhawks. Somehow got that rebound. Look at a tough angle on that shot. Now it looks like a cramp for Anderson Cop. But a Kansas defense. A Kansas a little on the ropes here. With a single-digit margin. And it was I mean, it was closing time. Wow. And the rock chalk chance in the final minute of the ball game. Harris open. Guess who tapped it out? KJ Adams. Furphy slamming the door. Johnny Furphy. Ten points for the freshman, all in the second half. An amazing pass from Dewan Harris. Dickinson clears the glass. Harris can have two more if he wants it. He will not. Final score, second rank, Kansas 88, Kansas City 69. Somehow the game ends with a 19-point margin. What a 